Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the air dome trap on your front load washer. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now to replace this part, we will be working near some electrical circuits. So the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the washer. Once we've done that, we can start the repair. Now to remove this lower access panel, there's typically three quarter inch hex head screws located along the bottom edge. We'll need to remove those. And be sure to support that panel as you remove the last screw. Then just allow it to drop down and you can lift it away. Now to do this repair, it's easier if we pull that drain pump completely out of the washer. So to do so, the first thing we'll want to do is undo the button trap, just turn it counterclockwise and drain any water that remains in the pump body itself, as well as in the sump hose at the bottom of the tub. Now, once we've done that, we'll next just root the water harness away from that clip. Now next we'll want to disconnect the inlet hose to that pump. That comes right, that hose comes right from the bottom of the tub. So we'll simply squeeze that clamp together and slide it back onto the hose. Now, once we've released that hose, we next need to lift the pump away from the base frame and it's supported by a rubber mount on the left hand side towards the center and then another one on the right hand side and that one will need to lift up on the rubber tab as it's jammed down into an opening in the base frame to hold it in place. Now we have room to reach in underneath and push that rubber mount up through the opening it's fine. If not, you can take a flat blade screwdriver and come in from the top and just pry it out of that opening and we'll slide the pump to the right. Once it's disengaged, we can pull it far enough forward. Now with the pump out of the way, you can reach in and get hold of the pressure switch hose and that trap that is attached to the end of it. You'll note that there's a zip tie securing the hose to the inside edge of that trap. It's wrapped with a piece of foam. So we're going to first of all need to cut that zip tie off. Remove that. Pull that piece of foam and the hose away from the trap. And it's probably on there quite snug. So you may take a small flat blade screwdriver and just break that bond. If the trap is still attached to the air dome tube, you'll need to remove that and discard the old trap. Now, if the end of that trap was broken off in the hose, you'll need to get that pulled out of there first or replace that air dome tube or hose. Once that's clear, we're ready to push it onto the new trap. Make sure it fits on all the way. And then we're ready to install the trap into the sump hose. You'll want to moisten the inside edge of that sump hose and make sure it's pressed all the way onto that hose and then we'll secure it with a new zip tie. Make sure it's nice and snug and trim off the excess. And now we're ready to put the drain pump back in place. Now when reinstalling the pump, first of all, I want to make sure that the rubber mount that faces towards the center 
fits into the keyhole slot in the base frame. And the little gap in that rubber gasket will slide on both sides of the metal base. Now the same with the mount on the right hand side. We have a rubber flap on the back side of that that once the pump is pressed into place fully to the left, we'll push that flap down and that'll lock it into place. Now, if you wish, you can install the inlet hose to the pump first. Just hold it in place. And reposition that clamp. Just make sure that the hose is all the way onto the back of that pump. And then seat both of those rubber mounts. Push the pump to the left. Now with the pump pushed fully to the left, we should then be able to reach in and push down that rubber tab until it locks into the base. We'll then take the harness and tuck that back into that clip. And before we put the our access panel back in place, we're going to double check that drain hose and make sure that it's seated tight up against the back of that pump. So you may need to compress that clamp again. And just double check that hose, make sure it's flush. The little indicator tab on the top should line up with the arrow on the top of the pump housing. And now we're ready to put the lower access panel back in place. Now when installing that lower access panel, I want to make sure that these two pins line up with the holes in the bottom of the front panel. While well, keeping upward pressure on it, we'll reinstall the screws in the bottom. And now we're ready to reposition the washer. We're now ready to push the washer back into place, reconnect the power, and your repair is complete.